What's going on, everybody? You're tuned into another episode of the Music Mastery Podcast with your host, Leezy the Gifted. Basically, what I do on this podcast is I bring you daily podcast episodes where I document my journey as an independent artist. You're going to learn from my mistakes. You're going to learn from my failures. Um, but I'm also going to talk about some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way that I think are really going to help you out. And so today, what I want to share with you is I want to share with you five questions that you need to ask yourself not just as an independent musician, but just in general as a human being that I think are really gonna help. So this episode is definitely gonna be more geared for personal development, but you know, I always say to people, a lot of people wanna learn how to grow a fan base, want to, you know, get their numbers up, get followers, make money, get their music popping. But like, I've personally noticed that a lot of people want those things, but they don't have their personal development figured out. And plus, we're always on that journey for personal development, so we should always be trying to strive to get better in that aspect of our life every single day. So I just wanted to share these questions with you because I think that the questions are important. I posted it on my Instagram yesterday, and so I kind of am just gonna refer back to um, the exact question, so it's kind of like my little notes. But uh, I wanted to just share with you those questions and kind of get a tiny bit more in depth with you and uh, hopefully it'll inspire you to, you know, maybe start really evaluating your life. You know, basically, the purpose of these questions is for you to increase your self-awareness. Um, and these are just questions that I've thought of on my own, just through my own experiences. So, the first question that we want to ask ourselves is, how do I get myself on track? All right, now, that comes a lot with, well, what is on track even mean to you? What are the goals that you want to achieve? What are the things that you want to accomplish in your life? Because you'll know the path that you're on if you know exactly what goals you want to achieve because you're going to have that goal, you're going to be doing things to get to that goal, and you're going to fall off from that sometimes. You're going to fall off your daily routine. Days just aren't going to go the way you always want them to, and that's okay. All right, It's okay because we're not perfect. Like It's okay if stuff happens. You're going to get off track, but the important thing is how do I get myself on track? You need to have mental systems in place to get yourself back on track so that you don't stay off track for so long that you get discouraged and you get burnt out. So number one question, how do I get myself on track, all right? The next question, how do I build confidence? Now, the reason, and then that, that's a really freaking deep question, that's a big question. Like a lot of people wanna know how to build confidence. I think everybody has to build confidence in their own way. I mean, I think when it gets really right down to it, you gotta do things that challenge you that are uncomfortable, that are good for you, but it's not just about that. Everybody's got their own thing. So like, what are things that you're going to do that are gonna make you feel more confident about yourself? And you honestly just, you need to just be honest with yourself. You know what I mean? For me, it's exercise, reading, and dieting, pretty much, and sticking with a program. program. Uh, but like, everybody's got something different. Maybe for you, it's working on a song every single day. Maybe for you, it's making beats every day. That builds my confidence. I don't know, whatever it is for you, right? Or maybe it's, it's the internal talk that you have that is gonna get you going in the right direction. Like you don't wanna talk crap about yourself. You don't wanna say mean things to yourself. That's not gonna build confidence. So you, but you gotta think, how do I build confidence? Like what are the things that I do that make me more of a confident person, okay? Next question, how do I stay organized? Everybody's gotta have some kind of productivity system. Everybody's gotta have some kind of way to stay organized, and I think the most important thing that you need to organize is your time. You've got to organize your time, big time. You have to organize your time, and you gotta be able to organize your time. You gotta be able to organize your money, right? For me, um, I've kinda got those two things sort of figured out, not perfectly, but I'm kinda getting on the right track. The next thing that I need to organize is my content, because I'm putting out tons of content, podcasts, YouTube, all that stuff, and my thing is like, I need to start organizing the content a little bit better so that I can optimize my workflow and what I do. So, but organization is important. Organization is essentially putting systems in place that are going to make it easier for you to, to, to figure that thing out. So if it's your fitness, right? You gotta organize your workouts, you gotta organize your diet. It just makes it easier to figure out how to get in shape if your meals are planned out or if your workouts are planned out. If you're a musician and you're trying to put out hella songs, you gotta have your songs put out into different folders. I used to do mine with like um, beat finished or need to start writing or started writing or recorded needs to be mixed or 
mixed needs revision or needs to be mastered. Like I would break it down to all those categories and just have everything figured out. So if it was a day where I was like, you know, I feel like I want to record lyrics today. I'd go to my thing. I'd be like, all right, well, started writing or um, finished writing. I'd go to that folder and be like, all right, I'm ready to record lyrics. This one I finished writing. All right, let's get it. You know what I mean? Or, hey, I'm feeling more like it's a mixing day. Go to the songs that need revised mixes and go mix those, right? So anything to stay organized, right? And I've talked about how to stay organized with your time. I'm not going to repeat that. I've repeated that a million times, but I have a certain productivity system that I use. It's kind of like a checklist called a power list, right? So how do I stay organized? Next question. How do I handle my emotions? Am I perfect? No. Me personally, Lee Lipman, I'm not perfect. Like I'm going to have times where I don't handle my emotions. Uh, I feel like I have a funny story about that. I'll think of it in a second. I'll think of it in a second, but... You need to be, we all need to be able to figure out how do we handle our emotions. Like when an emotion comes up, how do we feel? Like what do we do? When we get really mad about something, how do we handle it? Okay? I'll give you an example of a time when I really did not handle my emotions the right way. It was kind of funny. So I started doing DoorDash. DoorDash is lit, by the way. And I was delivering food, or I was picking up food at this Greek restaurant. So the Greek restaurant, they open the window and like you walk up to it and they like give you the food that way. But I really had to go to the bathroom. So I asked the dude, I was like, yo, bro, can I go use your bathroom? The waiter, he's like, yeah, yeah, come on in. It's right down the hall. All right. So I go down, I use the bathroom. Pretty satisfied with the place. I was like, nice place, guy, let me use the bathroom. That's cool. I get out of the bathroom and I walk and I see a big brown paper bag. I'm like, oh, that must be my DoorDash. That must be the person I'm picking up for. So I just walk up to it because I didn't see anybody around except there was a bartender lady, but she wasn't going to get it. So I walked up to the bag and I, I saw it. It was, this, it was the person I was supposed to pick up for. So I just grab it. The bartender lady says to me, she says to me, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I, this is my food. I'm picking up the DoorDash. You know, I thought she just was, no, 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 you can't, you can't. We're supposed to give it to you. I'm like, no, no, I, I don't know if you understand. I'm the DoorDash person. I'm supposed to pick this up. And she just yells at me, sir, you need to wait outside. You're supposed to be the one to pick it up. And I, I kind of, I lost it. And I was like, what are you talking about? I'm the DoorDash. This is my order I'm picking up. And then the guy who let me in the bathroom, he came up to me. I was like, bro, she says I got to go outside and you need to hand me the food. Like, I'm, I'm the one picking it. He's like, yeah, no, that, that is policy. I'm like, what? So I was infuriated. So I walk outside, I walk around back to the window. I go, bro. He's like, yeah, it's just kind of a policy of ours. I'm like, bro, what different? I grab the bag. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. I grab the bag. I'm like, I'm grabbing this thing right now. What difference does it make if I grabbed it here or in the restaurant? He's like, yeah, yeah, it's just policy. And I was like, well, dude, it's a really stupid policy. You guys should change it. And I walked off and I was super pissed off. I look back at that. That was a terrible way to handle it. I should have just listened to the bartender lady. Like, oh, my bad. Walked outside and gotten it and been along my day. I had to go have this whole emotional experience just because they have some stupid policy. Not worth me getting mad about. I look back on it. I kind of think it's funny to be honest with you at this point. But the point is that's an example of me not handling my emotions the right way. Does that make sense? So the point is you got to figure out a way to handle your emotions because I'll give you another example. Right this second, I'm recording this podcast video. I want to be recording it as well on my microphone, which I usually do. Problem is my computer, it, and I am really pissed off about it. My computer's hard drive is so full, I can't even record anything right now. So I'm depending on just this video. I like when I can record the audio so that I can just use the clean audio. Now I'm going to use the audio from the video. Fine with me, but I'm just saying that pissed me off. I kind of got emotional about it, but you know what I did? I was like, bro, just record, go. It is what it is. I was like, bro, just go record. I mean, what's the problem? Like, just do it. Not a big deal. So I did. And it's like, that's a great way to handle your my emotions. Like, I got upset, but I handled it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to handle your emotions because our emotions are super real, whether we like it or not. And like, we have to know how to handle them. It's better to handle them, acknowledge them and handle them than to just pretend they're not there and ignore them and try to keep working hard. I can respect the fact that you just want to keep grinding, but... You gotta acknowledge your emotions and know how to cope with them. Cause trust me, if you get super miserable, you're not gonna wanna grind. If you're miserable and unhappy all the damn time, you're not going to grind. You're gonna find a way to avoid it. So you gotta know how to handle your emotions, okay? Last question. This one's crucial. What do I need that's really gonna make me happy? This is a tough question. Because maybe you think to yourself, money, house, car, 
nice clothes, can travel wherever I want. Okay, yes. Those are all things that are true. Those are things that would make me happy for sure. But what's really going to make me happy right now is stuff that's within my control. So like getting a car, you know, getting a house. I can control that. Like I can go out, try to make as much money as I possibly can, right? But here's the thing. You need to be able to do things that are going to make you happy with yourself that are not exterior or external. Like a house is external. A car, money, that's external. That's outside of me and my body and my soul, right? So what what I've realized, I kind of think I, I don't know if I found the key to happiness. I don't, I'm not going to go try and sell you any snake oil. I just think that through this past year, I've kind of figured out how to be happy. And, and, and it's, it's very simple. Do th- and I already said this today. Do things that are uncomfortable that are good for you. And challenge yourself and lo- be able to look in the mirror and say, wow, I'm really proud of myself. That's happiness. Happiness is not um, relaxing all day, every day. That's not happiness. That's not purpose. Happiness is I woke up this morning and really, really did not want to go on a run and I ran anyway. You're going to be happy after that run. Happiness is saying, damn, I definitely don't want to diet for 30 days and have zero cheat meals in 30 days. But at the end of those 30 days, I'm going to be happy because I'm happy with who I am. I'm happy with the fact that I did something that I didn't want to do that's super good for me. I challenged myself. That's dope, man. That's what makes me happy. You know, and I, I, I would challenge you to do those same things because I guarantee you will be happier doing things that are uncomfortable that you know are good for you. But you need to be able to answer the, that question. What do I need to be happy? So let me reiterate the five questions. How do I get myself on track? How do I build confidence? What do I do to stay organized? How do I handle my emotions? And what do I really need to be happy? Here's the deal. If you are really focused on growing a fan base and you're really, really trying to just like get followers, get clout, look cool, get your music out there, get signed to a label, that's all good and well. But like if you can't answer those five questions, all five of those questions, you have a way bigger problem on your hands than music and fan base and money. It doesn't even matter. None of those things matter. If you can't answer the question, how do I stay organized? If you don't know how to answer the question, what do I need to make me happy? Or if you don't know how to answer the question, how do I build confidence? Like, bro, what are you talking about getting signed to a freaking record label? That's not gonna make you confident. You need to be confident in all that before that. And you might be saying, nah, 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 Lizzie, I just need to get signed, bro. I'm gonna be happy once I get that money up, bro. I just need to get that money. It's like, well, money is an external thing. Like, that means that you're placing your happiness and your self-worth on something outside of you. You need to be able to be in full control of what really makes you happy and what makes your life better. If you're not able to control that, do nothing else matters. Even if you do get signed to a label, even if you get all that money, there's wealthy people who are miserable. There's artists signed to record labels who are miserable. There's artists who are below, they blew up. They are the big artists who are not happy. Why, why do artists die from overdose of drugs you think that's because they're happy and I look at it and I'm like well shoot I know I'm bro I know like you might think to yourself I know I don't have all the money I want right now I know I'm not signed to a label and I know that there's opportunities I want but I would take my life over that guy's life because that guy just lost his life I'm kind of referring to Mac Miller to be honest with you I love Mac Miller I can't believe he died I mean but like for a guy to overdose on drugs definitely means there was a problem right and like, you know, we look at Mac Miller and he was like a pinnacle of success. And, and, and you know, he was signed to a, he was signed, he was getting money, he was wealthy, he was super famous, he was putting out amazing music. And like, he had all those things that you think you want. You're a rapper watching this or you're an artist watching this or maybe you're just a young buck trying to figure it out. And you look you you could have looked at Mac Miller and been like, "Damn, like that's the life right there." Is it though? Cuz that's that ain't the life I want. The money and the fame, yeah, that stuff's cool, but you know what life I want? The one where I'm alive because I'm happy. 
Not the one where I'm miserable because I'm rich and famous and I'm miserable and then I kill myself. I don't want that life. I want to be happy. The only way to be happy is to, I mean, you got to answer those five questions, man. Answer those questions. Don't go tripping off Spotify playlists and all that if you don't know how to answer those five things, all right? This got way more real than I expected it to, which I'm happy it did. I'm happy it did. I'm happy we were able to get real today because it's important. Life is real, you know? So um, if you enjoyed this episode, if you got any value out of it and you're watching this on YouTube, hit the bell notification. Hit the bell notification. Um, you'll get notified every time I put out a new video and subscribe to my channel. That would mean a lot to me. If you're listening to the podcast right now, all you have to do is leave a rating and leave a review. That would mean a lot to me as well. Just I love seeing that interaction. Um, and if you're a rapper and you want to get some free beats, all you have to do is go to giftedstarterpack.com. Get yourself 15 free beats for me and we can get our working relationship started. Then I can keep in touch with you via email. Um, it's super cool. I'm already starting to love you know, keeping in touch with my email list, hearing people's stories. People are from all different walks of life all over the world emailing me saying they love my beats. It's awesome. And I want you to be a part of that community of gifted artists, right? We're really starting a movement of gifted artists, people who... These are, you are, you know, people who've signed up for my email list and people who are in my community are people who are rappers, who are entrepreneurial, who want to take matters into their own hands and like want to build a life for themselves off music. So if you want to be a part of that, go to giftedstarterpack.com, get 15 free beats and you'll be on my email list and we'll be able to keep in touch, right? So thank you so much for watching and listening. I'll talk to you again soon. Peace.